Hey friends, by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to start selling your print-on-demand products on Amazon Seller Central through a third-party platform, not Amazon Merch. Now, I feel like a lot of people might be confused, so I owe you a quick explanation. This is completely different from Merch by Amazon, which has been around for a while, but Amazon Print-on-Demand is the fresh new opportunity that everyone's been waiting for. With Merch on Demand, Amazon handles everything for you, like printing, shipping, and customer service. You just upload your designs. But it's super hard to get into this program. Most people have to go through application many times and still not everyone gets approved. Another issue is that you're limited in product options. Now, with Amazon Seller Central, you upload your designs to a platform like Gelato, which is a third-party platform connected to Amazon in this case. And they handle production, packaging and shipping. This method gives you full control of your pricing and branding when you sell it through Amazon Seller Central. Knowing how huge is Amazon, this opportunity for print-on-demand shop owners is really amazing. Like Amazon is way bigger than Etsy or TikTok shops, and people shop on Amazon for everything, not just gifts. Sure, there is a $39 per month Seller Central fee, and Amazon takes a 15% cut on transactions, but the traffic that you can access is really unmatched. And if you already have designs on Etsy or on your own store, it's a no-brainer to repurpose them for Amazon. Why not double your chances of success with work that you've already done? Let's talk about eligibility first, because this is the question that I get asked all the time. Are you in a country where you can set up an Amazon Seller Central account? The answer is most likely yes. Amazon supports sellers in a ton of countries, which you can see listed on their site, with some exceptions like Russia or Belarus. In this video, I will show you how to use Amazon Seller Central with Gelato Print On Demand platform, which for now allows you to sell only in the United States market. You don't have to be there physically in the United States, but that is your target market available at this time. Now, I want you to pay attention because you have to have these ready before you apply for Amazon Seller Central. Double check everything before you submit. Here's what you will need. A valid ID or a passport and make sure that it's signed and it is up to date. Second, you need a bank account and a credit card. Pretty straightforward here. And also, you might need your business registration number. Of course, if you're applying as a business. And just to clarify, you can always apply as an individual, but if there is a choice for you and you already have a registered business, definitely use that because Amazon's support team takes you more seriously when you apply as a business. Of course, setting up an LLC or LTD or whatever it's called in your country takes time and money, but trust me, it's worth in the long run. Once you've got everything ready, head over to Amazon Seller Central and start the sign-up process. Don't worry, I will walk you through the details in the next section. As a heads up, this entire process took me about 10 minutes in total, but of course, with all the edits and cuts in the video, it will be faster. And of course, all of my personal details here will be blurred. Also, I would assume that the process might look slightly different if you are not applying, uh, but as a person, but I applied as a business. It was pretty straightforward overall, but I actually stopped for a while thinking what to answer on this particular window, so I will show it to you. Here, after you submit your personal or your business details, it will ask you to provide your store name. If you have one, great. If you don't, don't waste too much time thinking of it, because you can always change this later. Now, in this question, do you have universal product codes? This identifies products sold on Amazon. But since we're doing print on demand, we should choose the option none. And then they also ask you if you own a brand. If you're planning to apply for brand approval or registry, then select yes, otherwise no. If you did select yes, like I did, it will ask you if you already have a registered trademark and if you don't have, just say no. 
On the next steps, you will just go through a bunch of formalities. They will ask you to provide your credit card to be charged, the monthly fee for Amazon Seller Central, and your recent bank statement. For verification, they will ask you to use your laptop to make a photo of your ID and of yourself, and in the end, you will end up looking at a window like this one, saying it will take up to 72 hours if they need any further clarifications. The overall approval of your account can take from a few days to even a couple of weeks. The next thing you will need to do is check your Amazon Seller Central settings. So once your Amazon Seller account is approved, head straight to your dashboard and double check your selling region. If you're planning to sell in the United States, then make sure that your store is set to operate there. Here's the thing, Gelato's integration currently supports US market only. But I wanted to clarify this again because I expect questions in the comments below the video. Gelato's integration with Amazon is available for use worldwide, meaning you can live anywhere, but you can only sell to customers within the United States. Gelato is the print-on-demand platform that I use to sell my products and it also easily integrates with lots of other marketplaces, including Etsy and TikTok Shop. You can also integrate your Gelato account with Shopify, Wix and other e-commerce website builders. I partnered with them today because Gelato has great quality of products, competitive pricing and intuitive interface easy for beginners to get started in print-on-demand business. Now, our next step is to create your Gelato account and connect it to Amazon. So, if you don't already have a Gelato account, now is the time to create one. It has a forever free plan and I have a special link to Gelato in the description below. Sign up for free through my link gelato.com slash Anastasia and get 50% off your first order. Once you're in your Gelato dashboard, go to your store tab, select Amazon from the list of available platforms and click on the Amazon icon. Choose North America as your marketplace region and it will ask you about GTIN. For now, just check this box because we will go through GTIN exemption on the next step. Once you confirm the connection, you will be redirected back to your Gelato dashboard where you can see your newly integrated Amazon store just like this. But before you start publishing products, there is one missing step. You need to apply for GTIN exemption. Let's break this down step by step, because I know the whole GTIN or Global Trade Item Number thing can feel overwhelming. A GTIN is essentially the number that you see on barcodes. Since Gelato products don't come with barcodes, you will need to request an exemption to list your products on Amazon. And here is how to do it. First, log in to your Amazon Seller Central account. Head over to the Catalog section and click on Add Products. When you see the option to use a blank form, choose that and then hit Start. Now, in the Product Identity section, type in your product name and pick the right category and product type for what you're listing. If your product has a brand name, then you will add that too. But if it doesn't, maybe it's unbranded or you're using some generic packaging, then just check the box that says this product doesn't have a brand name. Next, check the box for I don't have a product ID. If your product qualifies for an exemption, you will see a next button pop up. Go ahead and click that to move forward. At this point, you will need to fill out the application form. If your product isn't eligible, for an exemption, Amazon will let you know and, unfortunately, you won't be able to finish the listing. Once you submit your application, Amazon will review it. They will send you an email with their decision, usually within 48 hours. And you can also keep an eye on the status in your case log on Seller Central. But if your exemption gets approved, the great news is that it will apply to all similar products that you will list in the future. And that's it. Now you're ready to move on to the next step, which is set up shipping on Amazon. Shipping is key to happy customers. While Amazon has default shipping settings, creating your own customized shipping templates is a great way to customize it for your business. 
First, what you need to do is update your default shipping address. In your Amazon Seller Central account, click the gear icon in the top right corner and select Shipping Settings. Under the General Shipping Settings tab, make sure that your default shipping address matches your personal or your business address. Now, let's create a shipping template. In Shipping Settings, go to the Shipping Templates tab and click Create New Shipping Template. You can have up to 20 templates, so name each one clearly, something like, for example, Standard Shipping Gelato T-shirts or Gelato Wall Art, so you know exactly what it's for. For your rate model, choose the Per Item Rate model. This setup lets you charge based on the number of items in each order. Next, configure your standard shipping rates. Amazon includes a default transit time for standard shipping, but you will need to set a per order fee and a per item fee for Gelato products. Check Gelato's shipping and delivery rates for guidance. Here is a quick example for you. For the per order fee, subtract the cost of additional items from the first item fee. If the first item fee is, for example, $3.96 and the additional item fee is $1.27, your per order fee should be $2.69. Then for the per item fee, input there the additional item cost, which is in this case $1.27 in this example. And you will also want to apply the same rates to places like Hawaii, Alaska and Puerto Rico. Keep in mind that standard shipping is required by Amazon, so you cannot remove it. If you would like, you can offer expedited shipping for faster delivery with a transit time of 3 to 5 days. You can use the same rates as standard shipping and set a per item fee for orders within the mainland United States. Now, don't forget to disable 2-day and 1-day delivery options. Amazon might enable this by default, but since Gelato doesn't support them, then make sure to uncheck those boxes. This way, you're not promising to your buyers something that you cannot deliver. And finally, click Save once you have set up all of your rates and options. Your new shipping template is now ready to go and it will be available whenever you list products in your Amazon store. With shipping all set up, you're ready to move on to publishing your products and managing your listings. Once your GTIN exemption is approved, you're ready to add Gelato products to your Amazon store. The process is again straightforward and here is how you can do it. In your Gelato dashboard, go to the Stores tab, select your Amazon store, click on Add product and you will see two options. You can add a single product or multiple products. For this example, we will go with a single product option. From here, browse through Gelato's product catalog and choose the item that you want to list. Then use Gelato's design editor to customize your product. You can also upload your designs if you created them elsewhere. For example, I generated my wall art prints with the help of AI tools. And once you're happy with your design, just hit continue. Next, you will pick some mock-ups and Gelato actually has a variety of them. Now, after selecting your mock-ups, it's time to add the product title and description. Fill in these details carefully because they are key to catching your customers' attention on Amazon. And once that is done, click Continue to move on to pricing. Now, on the pricing page, you will see a breakdown of the product cost, shipping cost and your estimated profit. What you need to do here is adjust the pricing slider to set your desired profit margin. Once everything looks good, click Continue to review your product details. Before publishing, double-check all the details in the review page – mock-ups, descriptions and pricing. And keep in mind that it can take a little of time for your products and variant images to appear on Amazon. And if you want to track the status of your product, you can always head back to the store page in your Gelato dashboard. The next step is to monitor and manage your listings. Now that your products are live on Amazon, it's time to manage them to ensure that everything runs smoothly. You can do this directly in your Amazon Seller Central. Go to the Inventory section and select Manage all inventory. 
This is where you can check that your products are properly synced with your store. And if you need to update anything like titles, descriptions, or maybe images, you can still do it here. Just click the three dots next to a listing and select edit. From there, you can access and adjust all the product details directly on Amazon. It's also a good idea to double check that the correct shipping template has been applied. If you have only created one template, Amazon will apply it automatically. Once your store is up and running, make sure to keep an eye on your account health under the performance tab. This section is where you can check important things like how well your orders are being handled and whether shipping is on time. And if you keep these metrics in good shape, Amazon and your customers will be happy with your seller account. Again, if you want to go through this process and never had a Gelato account before, then use the first link in the description below. It's gelato.com slash Anastasia and get 50% uh, off your first order. And once you're done following all the steps in this tutorial, you're officially into print-on-demand business with Amazon Seller Central. Now it's time to market your store, optimize your listings and start making those sales. For more resources and tools to grow your print-on-demand business, you can check my print-on-demand playlist that I will link for you up there in the info icon. And all the links and resources that I talked about in this video will be added in the description below the video. Good luck and don't forget to let me know how your journey goes in the comments below the video.